it's your Sapon here with episode 2 of Bucket Coding and in this episode we're going to cover freezing players so yeah um, hopefully you've watched the introduction in, in episode 1 or this is going to be a bit too advanced if if you're um, a, a beginner so yeah obviously this is an event handler so we're just going to add our event handler tag and this is going to be a public void. You can name this whatever you want on move. Um, just seems more logical. And this is going to be a player move event. You can just do event right there. And just open up a class body. So just import all that. <clears throat> and when freezing a player, you check if the player has moved. And you don't allow them to move basically so you can do um, event dot set cancelled true like you can do it you are able to do it but um, I would suggest you'd never use this line of code in this event ever because it just glitches everything out so instead of that you want to use event set to event get from since um event get from and event get to both return a location um that'll be perfect for this scenario so yeah i'm not going to use that yet first um well to explain to you when this event fires when um a player moves as in their character moves and when they look around so yeah we only want it to fire when the player moves like we want to allow them to look around but we don't want them to move so we're gonna have an if statement if e dot or if event get from actually let's just make six variables real quick so location a equals event dot get from this is actually not going to be a location um this is going to be an integer so yeah uh get x oh yeah this this actually needs to be a double because it could be a decimal or an integer so yeah it's a double uh, we named it we named it a and it returns um, the x axis of when the of where the player moved from so make another variable event dot get from get z and another one another double event dot get from or get to get x and actually we only need four variables since we're not gonna include the y-axis because we want to allow them to jump so yeah uh, event dot get to get z and now that just makes the if statement much more compact and easier to understand so if a is not equal to C or B is not equal to D, then we want to event dot set to to event dot get from. So what the what's the saying is um if the number if the x axis uh the player moved from is not e is not equal to the x axis the player moved to and the same thing for the x um for the and for the same thing for the z axis then that registers as the player actually moving so just went ahead and um i guess you can say we canceled the movement because that's basically what it's doing so yeah uh let's just export this real quick or uh, reload our server 
and as you see we cannot move we can jump we can fly we can look around but we cannot move so yeah <clears throat> we can't change our y or x axis as you see in the f3 menu it stays the same sorry i thought that was a nine for a second so yeah <clears throat> if you if you're moving and you're looking around it also cancels that because um it's just trying to cancel the movement while you are looking around so it cancels that movement as well um so yeah oh that pretty much wraps up episode two hope you enjoyed